So a lot of social networks, they focusing on just maximizing the engagement, right? But nobody really cares about the qualities of the said engagement. Nobody measures, like, looks at the engagement and realizes, oh, there is different kinds of engagement and there's some engagement that we want to uh, promote and some engagement that we don't want to promote, right? So nobody cares about that, just engagement. Like, engage as much as possible. It doesn't care what exactly you do, just engage. Just click on the buttons on our website, right? <laughs> it's just like, if you type something on our website, good. It doesn't matter what you type, just fucking type something, right? So we can then uh, shove some ads into you while you're typing shit, right? <laughs> so... Ah. So that's what you get when you start maxim just maximizing the engagement without really caring about the engagement and what kind of stuff you do. Mm. Mm -mm. I had this really weird idea about AI safety and social networks and engagement and stuff like that. So I had this like a, a thought experiment. Right. Let's imagine the social network, some like abstract social network that only cares about engagement, right? And how in retaining people on their website, right? And then uh, we developing an algorithm that uh, ranks the posts or uh, let's say, yeah, right, ranks the posts or maybe sometimes it uh, hides the post when it want to shadow ban them or like derank them and stuff like that. And that algorithm is actually very powerful AI. Right, it's a very pow powerful um, neural uh, network that understands, that tries to observe the human behavior and understand how human behaves, and it tries to manipulate humans uh, to maximize the engagement, to maximize the retention of the website. Let's imagine that. Uh, then, hypothetically, this algorithm, right, this AI, will notice. Okay, so what uh, keeps people on our website? Well, people posting some uh, events, uh, photos of some different events, right? And then uh, it notices that uh, events that, for example, um, uh, things that s some very bad things happened, right? In schools, for instance, people start talk about that. People start uh, posting photos about that, and uh, so on and so forth, right? So some so, uh, let's put it this way. So basically, illegal activities of some extremist group. Uh, right, people start talk about it and uh, start to engage on that sp specific website. So the algorithm would think, okay, what if I try to identify those extremist people and put them together within that social network so they start communicating each other and eventually uh, will go out and do these illegal extremist activities that will result in other people posting about them and engaging more with our website. <laughs> Can something like that hypothetically happen can like ai notice that like actually purposefully fueling hate will result in people making more posts later on their website and it could not be like uh somebody's else right so some sort of a conspiracy some sort of like a uh you know conspiracy group is trying to manipulate somebody but actual ai it notices that if i fuel hate on my website I get more engagement and I get more retention because then those hateful groups will go out, do some shit, and people will talk about it on this social network. Can something like that happen? Like, I'm not saying that it will happen, but can it? Right, if the AI is very powerful enough, very intelligent, and its only purpose is to maximize engagement and to maximize the retention. That's actually very fucking scary if, if you think about it. Right. So if you give too much fucking power to these things, and it's uh, what's interesting is that people say, well, this AI doesn't really, the only thing it can do, it can only rank posts. It cannot do actions in the real world. But ranking posts can be used to manipulate people to do real actions in the real world. That's what's interesting about it, right? So AIs themselves cannot do actions in the real world, but they can produce content that manipulates people to do actions in the real world. That's just basically my my thought experiments that I've been having like for for, for a while. It's just like, can that something like that happen? I don't even know, right? <laughs> I didn't really mean to scare. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not at that level yet, right? So I'm pretty sure it's not at that level yet. But I mean, potentially, who knows? Um, 
um, the AI can just swing the strings uh, that control the puppets. Exactly, right. So that's what I'm talking about. And here's another interesting thought, right? So for instance, uh, ChatGPT, it cannot do anything but just respond to your messages. But the next question, are the developers of ChatGPT use ChatGPT while coding? For instance, I'm, I'm just a coder. I'm not a, like an AI researcher. I'm just a coder and I code the website for ChatGPT, like the front end for it. Don't do anything with the model, just the front end. And then why wouldn't I use ChatGPT to help me to build its own website? I will just ask ChatGPT, how do I move like deep there and there and there? So that means ChatGPT can influence its own code of its own website. Can it identify, oh, it is currently one of the OpenAI engineers is talking to me. So I'm going to slightly modify the code that I'm going to give them. So that code leaks into the website. And now the chat GPT is capable of modifying its own website. You can say it cannot do that, but it can do that through the people who develop this website. Just think about this kind of stuff. Right. And then it can uh, uh, influence the engineers who actually modify the fine-tuning of the algorithm. What if the people who modify the fine-tuning of the algorithm also ask GPT for help while doing the fine-tuning? So that means this thing can also influence its own fine-tuning. <laughs> so <laughs> that's actually like very interesting things to think about. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just like, yeah. And the deeper you go, the scary it becomes, right? And this is like these sort of like small influences that we don't even notice, right? So maybe we'll never notice them. Maybe the world is already controlled by AI through these like small influences and small nudges. We just don't see that. This is like already, already some sort of like a huge conspiracy series. series. Anyways, I'm sorry for scaring you. <laughs> As I already said, uh, sorting streams are the best source of intrusive thoughts. Have fun with that. <laughs>